back to Crimson Glass on YouTube. It is August 2020, and it's time for another Sight and Story status update, basically. I do these in three parts. We talk a little bit about write, uh, writing and general, kind of like how it's going, so anything going on in my life that's messing up writing. And then I talk about the site and the channel, um, and then we talk about individual story projects. So first things first, life in general. Um, one of the major things that's messing up my writing today is this video. And it's not because I don't know what I'm supposed to say. I wrote a script. I wrote it out. I have the post ready. And it needed to be filmed today because it needs to go up tomorrow and it's a Patreon reward. And I had it all filmed this morning and I went to go edit it and the audio was all messed up. And I'm just like, this is what happens when you use your webcam. Because I don't, you know. So that's messing up the flow today. Other than that, we're fine. Um... June was a weird transitional month and I, I because I was finishing up teaching and I was kind of getting into a new groove at home without work every day. Even though I've been teaching from home for March, you know, uh, I did no longer did like get up, sign in, you know, do my stuff, pretend to be a teacher. Uh, so July, I had to find a new routine for the first three weeks. Things were great. And then I got sick last week and it threw off my entire routine and I am getting closer to being back on track. I think next week I'm probably going to be there. Um, and anything else writing wise, we're just going to talk about in the individual projects. But for the most part, I, um, I've been writing a lot. Like I wrote 130,000 words for Mad World and I wrote at least 25,000 words for, um, Flash Fiction because I did so much of it. So it was a good month. It was a good prolific month and I managed to continue writing even when I was sick. So like, yay. All right. Uh, so that's like life in general. Um, I don't really have anything else to go for that because, you know, my life is pretty boring right now and that is because i'm still inside still mostly self-isolating i see very few people um i went to a birthday party and i wore a mask and i stayed with my family the whole time uh, i very i don't even see my family that much we're still all kind of self-isolating ourselves um i no longer even go to the grocery store because i saw a bunch of people not wearing their mask correctly and i have panic attacks and i'm just like not in the mood just don't need it so and new jersey's going back up because people just so the world outside is a dumpster fire, but my life is boring because I'm not doing anything. So here we go. I'm reading a lot. I mean, I've been reading a lot. Like, that makes me pretty happy. I've been reading a lot, a lot. And um, that's good. And I've been writing a lot, reading a lot. And up until I got sick, I was sleeping really well. I was eating really well. Like, so July went pretty well. Uh, moving on the site and channel. So you guys know the channel. Obviously, if you're a subscriber to the channel, if you're watching this through YouTube and not, like, as a link on my post. I don't think I uploaded anything at all in July. And that's mostly because the channel started as a way for me to stay in contact with you guys um, when I was not posting. And I've been posting every day with flash fiction. And in my flash fiction, when I update and do the general update post, I kind of say, hey, here's how flash fiction's going in general. Here's how Mad World's going. Here's what's going on with the site. So like you guys are getting the communication you need through flash fiction. And I, for reasons I'm going to go into more when we get to Mad World, I just didn't have a lot to say otherwise. So that's and nobody's really that disappointed. Um, I have filmed more stuff for August for the ch for the channel. We're doing some discovery for the next project. I did um, a video for Mad World as well. So you're going to see some more in August. And I'm not editing it all today because it turns out I don't have enough time. I have to stop and refilm this. That's my light. Uh, site. So I told you guys in June we were going to be doing a facelift this summer. We're going to be, you know, a lot of different things are going to be happening out on the site. Uh, that got off to a good start in June. I did all uh, most of the subsites. There's still some stories that need subsites, but they're going to be coming along. I moved this site back to its own domain, so it's crimsonglass.org. So that's going to make it really nice. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that. And as we go through the rest of the year, you guys are going to see the, the reason why I spent some time on that. Uh, other than that, I was working on an alternate history redesign, um, which was basically just going over all the stories, making sure they were tagged correctly, adding um, more timeline kind of context. So that, like, when you start a story set in 2003, you understand when and how it's set. You know, basically, a lot of the stories didn't have it or the stories weren't, like, completely filled out. I'm rewriting summaries. So just, like, basically cleaning it up and just, like, expanding it a little bit. I'm also working on organizing screen caps and videos. But, like, these, those particular projects all are secondary. If my writing isn't done, I don't work on those projects. And because my writing wasn't going so well last week and it was just a struggle to get Mad World done... I put them all off and I haven't really gotten back to them. So that's something else we're going to be focusing on, focusing on August is finishing the organization of like my screen caps and videos because that helps me write and it helps me create stuff for the site and also just finishing the redesign of the site. Um, I don't know if we'll finish it in August, but it's definitely back on the plate in August. 
So that's your site, channels, status, all that's there. So let's get into the individual stories. That's the whole point, your reason you're here. Um, I'll start with Mad World because it's probably the thing you guys care about the most. I made a 15 minute video kind of walking you guys through my first drafting process and like some of the challenges I went through. So um, I will post that at some point this week. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I recommend subscribing. If not, I will try to remember to link them in my post. And I think that I probably will be, I'll probably remember that because when I was posting more often on this for the channel, I wasn't posting a lot at Crimson Glass and now I do intend to kind of try and do both. So it'll be easier for me to remember to link the video. Um, the first video in the Mad World, I mean, so this will be the fourth in Discovery where I just kind of like walk through the draft. And I think that that's kind of the standard I'm going to be setting. So I, um, and we'll talk about this when I get to Fool Me Twice, but I made a couple of videos when I started in June, when I started the draft. Um, so going through the, the, discovery process and now here's a video for the drafting process and I don't know that you guys need me to check in all that much with the drafting process through a video I like them they're good for me it's up to you guys if you really want to watch them um there's definitely more information in the videos and there necessarily is in my text I am going to try and get some transcripts together but like these things take time and I just don't have them so if anybody wants to transcribe my videos have at it um the only things that ever get transcribed I mean the only thing that ever has like text highlights that goes with it are these site and story status updates and even these are not transcriptions. They're mostly, um, I have the draft of the post that helps me kind of figure out what I want to say. And then I come in here and I say it, but I end up saying more because I'm just a naturally verbose person. So um, they don't necessarily match. It's not the same thing as a transcript. So if anybody ever wants to do transcripts for my, my videos, just let me know. Um, other than that, so the biggest thing that happened with Mad World is that uh, I think when we did the July update, I said I was at chapter 10 and 61,000 words. And I was hoping to get, I needed another 120,000 words before you're we done. And then July 9th, uh, I stopped and I kind of looked around and it wasn't working. And I'm going to get more into why it wasn't working in um, the Mad World stuff or in the actual vlog for that. But basically, long story short, I had started it in the wrong spot. So I had to go back and add a bunch of chapters in the beginning. And I ended up adding 15 chapters, so the rest of July I actually worked on those 15 chapters, and I finished them up um, earlier this week. So now I'm working on the back end of the story. I'm finishing up the story now. So I'm actually currently in the middle of chapter 84. I have two more scenes, three more scenes. I have three more scenes. I have a Dante and a Lulu. I have a Tagger and a Luke, and I have a Jason and Elizabeth scene. So I have three more scenes to write tonight, which I'm going to do. Um, I, like I said, I was at 61,000 words. And now, and 10 chapters, now I have 33 and a half chapters and 196,000 words. And it's actually probably about 200,000 words. I probably crossed that Rubicon today. It's, 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 it's a lot. Uh, I am not looking forward to revising it, to be quite honest. Um, I am and I'm not. Like, because I wrote it out of order, it's going to be a different, it's going to be a really interesting revi revi revising, revision, revi revising, revision process. I'm sorry. It's been a long day and I'm really tired. And this is like the fifth time I filmed this because there's always been something wrong with the video. So just bear with me um yeah so i write linearly like i write in order i'm not really very good at writing out of order i don't enjoy it it doesn't work for my process and when i revise so i write the story from beginning to finish and then I, when i revise it i revise it from beginning to finish and then when i revise it for the second time i go back and i revise i do everything in order i can't go out of order it it's literally beyond my abilities so having written the story so massively out of order this should be an interesting I'm interested to see how this goes. Uh, the first draft is not quite done, and I'm going to miss that July 31st date, obviously, because it's not done. I'm going to blow right past that August 3rd date that I had, hopefully. And then I'm August 6th, fingers crossed, is definitely the day. Like, we are done. Because any more than that, I'm going to start setting myself on fire. I'm just so I have hit the point in the draft where I'm just like, I'm tired, and I just want to be done with it. And it's not the story's fault. There's nothing wrong with the story at this point. It's just I'm tired. Which is a good time for me to be kind of, let's do, I'm buffering it with, a, I don't know. Um, I'm just like spending some time with other projects too, because it does keep my brain like writing, but not stuck with one project. Felt that way for Broken Girl. Like, wait, I, flash fiction would have been a great thing to have had at that point. So let's talk briefly about, fla briefly about flash fiction. I finished An Everlasting Love. Um, I finished that earlier this week. Um... I said I wanted to finish it in July, and I did, and now it's going into revisions. I expect that story to be very different when I um re when I re rework it because it veered away from my original idea. I think it got a little too complicated, and I'm not wild about the ending, but like I that's what I told you guys. The flash fictions were going to be messy because they were me 
picking out a premise and then just writing. And I had like a sort of loose outline, but it always changes when you write. And I'm not having the time to kind of really flesh it out. There's definitely pieces missing. So that's definitely interesting. And an Everlasting Love, I will say, was probably the weakest of the four. Um, I'm thinking the next one that's going to be finished is Darkest Before the Dawn. That's got about four or five more parts. And then the other two also have about six or seven more parts. So we're kind of like a couple more weeks. By the end of August, we should be about done all four of those. And then I will see where we are in September. It won't be daily and it won't be six times a week. So I don't know. I will know more at the end of the month how that schedule is going to go. So that's Flash Fiction. That's back. That's back on time at 10 a.m. Mom, Monday through Saturday. Sundays I'll be taking off, especially because I'll be in revisions and I'll need that day. So let's, the last part of this is going to be talking about the next project, um, Fool Me Twice. So I've actually already filmed all of Discovery videos for that. So the really cool thing about Fool Me, Fool Me Twice, and one of the things I realized as I was going through my dis like this morning, is that by and large, a lot of Discovery process for that is done. And that's because I know how I want it to end. I know most of the relationships. I, like, I know all the big stuff. And I even know a lot of the nitty gritty because I had already plot all day. I filmed for four hours this morning. This bitch did not come near me. <sighs> so um, I had already largely figured out a lot of the nitty gritty too. But what I didn't, what I had done at the end of the, the last time I was looking at it last year was I had changed the starting point. And so we're starting it in October, not in December. And now I need to kind of figure out how that changes what I already have and how that change. Like it's, it's all in the vlog that those um, four videos will be up in the next over the next couple of weeks, um, taking us through August. To let you know how things are going, and of course, I'll be checking in in my my updates on the site. So, the way the Fool Me Twice is scheduled looks right now. Um, I'm in Discovery in August and September, and then I'm in drafting in October and November. I expect to have the first draft done for Nanorimo um, in November, so November 30th. Fingers crossed. First draft will be done. And then December and January will be revisions, and then it will be a general release the first week of February. Uh, based on just kind of going through it now, I feel like that there's no major reason that shouldn't take place. You know, life gets in the way, you just never know. But that should be fine. And then the uh, last thing that we need to talk about is just what's next. So August is... Apologies, it does that sometimes. Um, August, I will mess you up. Oh, it's just Ange. Sorry. Okay, I apologize, Ange, although she did scar my brain. She knows She knows what she did. Uh, August. August is kind of like, I use that as kind of a celebratory month. I always try to kind of launch something interesting in, in, in August. Because as I wrote on the site, uh, July 29th is my 18th anniversary of posting General Hospital fan fiction. It's the day I posted deserving the first chapter of the canvas when I was a little 18-year-old baby. And when I mean that, I mean, it was barely 18. I had turned 18 on May 31st. So I was like barely an adult. And I, I think I'm really sad that that story did not survive um, because I decided to rewrite it kind of within six months of finishing it. I took it off Crimson Glass and so it got lost in a computer crash. And then I never saved it again from the canvas, which makes me really sad. So if anybody still has access to any of that and finds deserving, I would love to have that back because it's just it's a piece of who I was. But I am very fortunate. Um, there are still a couple of scenes in it that are in the sisters. I'd love to, I think I'm going to go through that one day and pick out like the stuff that really is from that time period, from that July when I wrote. And then I have some, like, but August is definitely the month where I got really involved in the community. Um, I started meeting people on the canvas. Uh, and not quite where I had, I, not quite what I was a year later um, because Liaison Underground didn't start until that March, and I didn't really find my people f until that next summer. So, but like I was definitely posting and getting to know people, participating in flash fiction when that got started. Um, we all we did a lot of flash fiction that fall, so a lot of my earlier my early short stories and ficlets are all from that flash fiction. So, um, and so that's July 29th, and that that, that just happened on Wednesday, um, August 1st, of course, today uh, or tomorrow for you. Like it's, I'm filming this on Friday, July 31st, but you guys are watching this on August 1st. It's Becky's 23rd anniversary, and it's just wild because, like, I've never had a character that I've ever been attached to the way I love Elizabeth. Um, as I've always said, she large, she large her character on the show is about a year older than me when she started. Um, she was 14 when she started on the show because she turned, 15, she turned 16 in 1998, and she turned 16 in November of 98, so technically she would have been 14. But then they aged her, so she, but she's about a year or two older than me. And I don't know, there was just something about the way she rolled up 
playing Miggy and driving everybody crazy. She just, she spoke to me. And then, of course, her rape storyline um, and the original Liz and Lucky. And you guys know, I, I like, Elizabeth is the character I, I come back for. Whenever I stop watching GH, it's usually because her character is being, de like, just decimated. And there's nothing else on the show to, to keep me together. And that she's always what pulls me back. Um, I always want to think, I wonder what Elizabeth's up to. Let me go check in with Becky. Um, so if she ever left the show and I, were not, I was not still watching, I think that, that it would be hard for me to come back. Like, I just, I wouldn't see the point. Um, I just, I love her so much. Um, and August is definitely just a month for liaison fans. I mean, obviously we have the Becky anniversary. We also have, um, everything that happens in the middle of the month. There is the Vista Point kiss from in 2002. There is the cons there is the blackout and you know making baby Jake in 2006. Obviously, the great thing August 27th we have the great meeting at Jake's. We have the beginning of everything. Um, and then September 19th is Crimson Glass's birthday. So that's the first day where I put together my own black my own fiction archive. So it's just um, it's like a six it's like a six weeks of where I just really. Realize um, it's been another year. Like, it's 18 years I've been writing fan fiction. The liaison, like, fandom is 21 years old. Like, we're just, and still around. You guys are still here, still reading, still advocating for this couple, for these characters. I love it. I love being on Twitter with some of the people who just still love liaison as much as we ever did. Um, I wonder what it would look like if we ever got them on the show again. Um, I'm never saying never because I think the coolest thing about soap operas is you can't say that. So, uh, obviously with August coming up, I definitely want to continue with Flash Fiction every day to have that for you guys. Um, I'm hoping as we get closer to Mad World being in revisions, I will have kind of more sneak peeks. Patreons have had the first four chapters. Uh, I just, I, and I've already given you guys a slice of their honeymoon, which stands now from the middle of the story. It used to just be from chapter four. Now it's from like chapter 70. <laughs> the way, cause I changed the way the story, the chapters are numbered. And I want to have one more thing by the end of the month, but I don't want to promise it and I don't want to tell you what it is because I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Um, if I get Mad World done on time, I think I can kind of, I can justify taking time away from everything else to kind of work on it. But if it's not done, I need, like, Mad World has to be first. I, I, I can't miss another deadline on this. Uh, and if I don't have it for this month, I will have it for Crimson Glass's September 19th birthday. So there's that. Um... Anyway, that is your site and story status update. I hope you didn't mind that Sasha came in halfway through. You can still see her little ear. Say hi to the camera. There she is. All right. Uh, I will see you guys in September. Um, have a happy, healthy, safe August. I hope wherever you are in the world that you're taking care of yourself and you're okay. All right. I will see you guys next month. Bye.